Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to put some language models in small devices uh, or wearables like uh, this one. So this is a Raspberry Pi. It is a very affordable device that in the past has been used for many purposes and I'm going to put some display. You can also put a display on it. And I'm going to show you how to put some language models in, in this. Of course, it's not going to be a, uh, an advanced ChatGPT4 or something like that. It's going to be something lighter, but it's going to help our purpose. So one of my ideas that yeah, I had is, was to expand it, to use it for uh, with fine tuning and rag, or RAG to assist me in some advice for local farming and gardening. This is how it looks like if you start. The photo display is going to be very small, so it's not very practical to program on it, but you can have some idea how it looks like. To show you how to configure the language models, I'm going to, to touch again the, the display, I'm going to uh, streaming to a display so that we can, we can actually see what I'm writing. First thing is go I'm going to use Olama, which is a very popular way to interface with different uh, deep language models. And one way is, first of all, I'm, and I'm installing it through, uh, through the common curl. I'm going to pause because you don't want to wait the entire downloading part. Now that it has been downloaded, you can write Olama, run, and the name of the model. I'm using Tiny Dolphin, which is a variation of uh, Tiny Llama, more specific, that is kind of inspired uh, to the orc. And that's all, that was nothing more than that. So now I am launching it again, Olama Run Dolphin. And I am prompt, I have this kind of the prompt in the, in the terminal, I can write a question, for example, is it too hot to plant tomato? Just a random question. Like it's not fine-tuned with agriculture, so it's just using what he knows from the model. You can see the speed is not amazing, because it's taking some time, but you have to imagine these things is a local language model, so it's not connecting anywhere. It's literally computing everything on the Raspberry Pi and giving me back the, the answers. can be detrimental for the overall. I mean, this, I was thinking to expand this, for example, with some kind of uh, text-to-speech, like, uh, you know, like Amazon Echo, like Alexa. So if you imagine these things is talking, the speed is still acceptable because, of, of course, the, the fact that if someone is reading can be reading like this, not like you reading super fast. And I think it has a great potential because, for example, you can have like many of these and you can create even like a federated language learning model where spread all over many things. Okay, let me know if you have some idea or advice. I'm open-minded to hear what you can do with some other, other types of wearable or small computing with language model. Bye!